If you're interested in getting a psychic reading or if you've had one in the past and maybe been disappointed or you're hesitant to look into this, I want to share with you a different perspective today. There are some times when I do think getting a reading is helpful. So I want to share with you today four things to keep in mind about readings and then four times that I do think getting a reading could be helpful. And I'm going to guarantee that this is not a perspective that you've heard from many people before. So stay tuned. Welcome to the Communicate With Your Angels YouTube channel. My name is Melissa and I help you in this channel develop your spiritual gifts and trust your inner guidance. Have that connection with your angels and your own intuition so you can navigate your life with more success and abundance. If that resonates with you, please hit that subscribe button so you see these videos each week. I release them every Wednesday and hit the like button if you particularly enjoy this video. I'd so appreciate it. You might have guessed by the intro, I'm not a huge proponent of psychic readings. I have a Facebook group called the Spiritual Seekers Community. Do hop on in there and say hi, but I don't allow people to do psychic readings in that group if they want to do it elsewhere no problem, right? It's not a bad thing. It's not a wrong thing. It's not an evil thing to do a reading. But there are some reasons why I don't think it's the best approach to spirituality. And here's why. The really important thing to keep in mind when someone is giving you a reading is that in order to perceive accurate information, that person is receiving messages from their angels who are talking to your angels. In order for that channel to be open and clear, your angels want to know that the reader's motives are good. If that person's motives are off in any way, your angels will not communicate to their angels. And so if they're still giving you a reading anyway, but the channel of communication is closed because your angels sense that their motives are not clear, then where are they getting their information from? It's not accurate. And I think this is one of the problems that is out there with people that are having disappointment with readings is because you need to really choose carefully who you work with. So some examples of motives not being clear, maybe that person um, is on their ego, maybe they are not confident, maybe they are going to skew things in a certain way based on their perception that's not really truly from guidance. So there can be lots of ways that that can happen. But this is why it's really important to check with your angels before you do it. Choose a reader. The second thing to keep in mind is that you can get direct messages from your own angels. You don't need someone else to to get them for you. And so that's just as simple as what I said is like, do you really need somebody else? Because what can happen is people start to become dependent on somebody else giving them the guidance because they don't think that they can get it themselves. So I'd rather see you really build confidence and your own spiritual abilities so you can get messages directly from your angels and not have to go through somebody else because you're with you 24 hours a day and guess what it's free you don't have to pay that person for a reading what i've seen in some clients that have come to me is that they will say things like i was told by a psychic reader that x is going to happen or i was told by a psychic reader that my life purpose is x and I can feel when they say it that it doesn't really resonate with them. They've taken it on board because somebody else told them. You are the leader of your life. Nobody else really has your answers for you. They can certainly share perspectives and that's great. But if you are in a place of feeling lesser than or unworthy or you trust somebody else with authority more than you trust yourself, you could actually get the information from the reading and start getting on the wrong track because you've trusted something that doesn't really resonate with you, but you just decide to take it on board because somebody else told you. I want to really empower you to trust yourself. You are your own best psychic. Remember, every reading that you receive from somebody else is always going to be filtered through their state of consciousness and their beliefs. There is no such thing as 100% channeled information unless that person has gone into a full trance. If they're aware and they're awake, then they are always filtering what they perceive from angels through their own beliefs and consciousness. And that's necessarily always a bad thing right? Everybody is doing that all the time. But it is something to be aware of is that please don't take every single word that anybody else says as gospel. You need to always check in with how it feels to you. You 
are your own best psychic. So having said all that, you might think that I say never get readings, but that's actually not the case. Here are some situations where I do think it's beneficial to get some kind of reading and I've done it myself. One time when it's really helpful to get a reading from somebody is when you are really resistant. If we have a block, a limiting belief, um, a habit that you just can't seem to break, it can be difficult for your angels to get through to you directly. You need kind of a go-between, you need a different perspective to help you get the message from your angels that they're not able to get through to you yourself. So if you're feeling really stuck, if you've hit a wall, if you've hit a block, that can be a great time to seek out somebody who can get information from guidance for you. If that is the case, what I'd love you to do is check with your own angels who is the person to work with that will be most beneficial for you at this time? Is the timing right to do it? And is it in my best interest to work with this person? So it's really essential that you have that communication with your own angels. And so I will invite you to my next free masterclass where I'm going to teach you how to connect with your angels or guides. So look for the link below because it's so important to have that trust in yourself. So I remember a few years ago, I was actually on a trip home to my hometown of Christchurch, New Zealand. This was about three or four years ago. And I was really in a place where I needed some guidance. I was deciding whether I was going to leave my marriage and that's a very difficult decision. So it was not something I took lightly. And I said, you know what? I actually went to an expo. I was exhibiting myself and doing a talk myself, but I was surrounded by amazing spiritual teachers and healers and readers and so I said you know what I have a hunch that it would be beneficial for me to do a reading today so what I did was I walked around the whole hall there was two floors it was such a cool expo and I just went and looked at each table and when I was standing in front of the table I asked my angels is it in my best interest to do a reading with that person and there was one person that I got a yes for and she was actually an astrology reader now astrology is not necessarily what I thought would be the modality that would be helpful to me, but that was the person that my angel said to work with. And it was an incredibly accurate, confirming and helpful reading that I got from this person. She was really able to tune into the situation. And this was something that was highly emotional for me. And so it was hard for me to separate myself enough to get the guidance myself. And that's why it was really helpful for me to get a reading that day because she was not emotionally involved in it. And so she was just getting guidance directly from spirit that I needed to hear. Another time I think where a reading or a, a spiritual consultation can be really helpful is if it's like kind of that saying you don't know what you don't know. If there is some information that you could find out through a certain modality about your purpose, about your direction, some qualities or strengths about yourself. So astrology might be an example of that. Some of the way show us college consultations that I offer like learning your spiritual thrust. That's not something that you're walking around just getting from your angels all the time. So if there is some information or perspective that you can learn from getting a consultation that will add to your spiritual toolkit and empower you to be more effective with your goals and your purpose, I think that is a really beneficial time to invest in a reading or a consultation. Another way that readings can be used is if you are part of a spiritual community or group or just even a group of friends and you're, you're going through something, you have a challenge, you have a situation, you can actually ask each person in the group to give you a quick, like a mini reading, a mini intuitive impression, say, hey, if you were in my situation, what would you do? Or even not that, right? You can just say, hey, would you give me just um, a sentence or a word that you're picking up that could just intuitively to share with me? And they, the person giving you the impression might have no idea what it means or how it fits for you but you can get all those different intuitive messages from the group, even maybe write them down and then pick the one that resonates the most with you. You don't have to 100% agree with any of it. Or you might say, you know what, two of these seven are really, really powerful messages for me and I'm gonna pick those to focus on. You get to decide, right? This is why it's tricky because we're so programmed, like going to school and in our society that there's a right answer and a wrong answer. And there's no in between. And intuition is just not like that. 
there's no right, there's no wrong, it's all gray areas. <laughs> and it's just whatever feels best for you and resonates with you. And that's going to be different things at different times and different people's perspectives at different times. So again, remember, you are the recheck. You have your own intuition. I would love you to develop the tools and trust so that most of the time you're getting guidance for yourself. And then it's just when you need that extra little boost of, okay, I'm so blocked right now, I need some guidance, or you just have a hunch that there's a perspective that would be helpful for you, but not to be relying on somebody else to give you your answers because you think you can't do it for yourself, right? This is getting readings from an empowered place rather than disempowering yourself and giving your power away. And if you get a reading that really doesn't resonate with you at all, you know, you don't have to accept it. It's really your life and your situation. So I have a video that I really encourage you to watch next. Considering I'm encouraging you to develop your psychic abilities, I'm going to send you over here to this video called Become More Psychic, where you can start to develop your own abilities for yourself. I'll see you there.